In this video, I am going to talk about the cost of living in one of our most prestigious luxury communities in the greater Pittsburgh area, Swickley, Pennsylvania. Are you ready? Let's make it happen. So according to payscale.com, the cost of living in Sewickley is 12% higher than the national average. Again, this is a luxury community. You're going to have most of the numbers higher. So hit the subscribe button, ding, ding the bell, hit all notifications. That way I will be shipped right into your YouTube app or your email whenever I post a video, at least one video a week. So the housing in Sewickley is a 111% higher than the national average. The utilities are 10% higher and the groceries are also 10% higher than the national average. So an interesting fact, the earnings to maintain a current standard of living when moving from Pittsburgh to Sewickley is $56,000. $520. Now the cost of living in Sewickley compared to Pittsburgh is 13% higher. Don't get that confused with the 12% higher of the national average. So housing in Sewickley compared to Pittsburgh is 130.6% higher. Ugh. So one of my favorite things to do is to take the cost of living of Sewickley compared to the United States compared to Pennsylvania. So overall in Sewickley it's 103.6, Pennsylvania is 92.5, and the United States which nationwide, which is the baseline, is always 100. And we compare those of um, the city and the state to the baseline, which is 100. The total of all of the cost of living categories weighted subjectively is housing 30%, Food and groceries, 15%. Transportation, 10%. Utilities, 6%. Healthcare is 7%. Miscellaneous expenses such as clothing, services, entertainment, that's 32%. State and local taxes are not included in any of these categories. This was last updated in September of 2019. So these numbers I'm sure have changed, especially with COVID. So we'll probably have to wait another year or two, a more reflective picture of what's going on. And again, we're just comparing the cost, which is the United States nationwide. So Swickley's groceries is 98.1, which is a little bit under the national average. And if we compare that to Pennsylvania as a state, it is 100.3. So Pennsylvania is just a smidge over Swickley and just a super smidge over the national average for groceries. For health, Swickley is under the national average with 86.4%. Again, the national average is 100. The state of Pennsylvania is in 97. So we're, uh, Swickley is underneath both actually. Now, when it comes to housing, and I will tell you, and maybe I'll do another video on what you can buy in Sewickley. Locally, it is known as one of our top luxury communities around there. It's probably in the top five for sure. So the housing is definitely going to be a higher percentage when it comes to housing. And that number is 123.4%. Again, the United States average is 100. So we are over the national average. If we compare that to the state of Pennsylvania, which Pennsylvania is a relatively inexpensive state to live in. The state of Pennsylvania is 75.1. Now the median home cost in Sewickley is $285,300. Uh, now we compare that to the state of Pennsylvania, it's $173,700. Now in the United States, housing average is $231,200. So the utilities in Sewickley, 87.1, compared to the state of Pennsylvania, 98.2. So a little bit under. Transportation in Swickley in 93.3. The state of Pennsylvania, 104. So other than housing, Swickley is under all of the other averages. So let's talk about rent for a hot minute. And I'm not gonna break it down by studio, one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedroom. We're just gonna go with the most popular, which is a three bedroom unit. So the baseline, which is the national uh, three bedroom rental is around $1,537. And let's compare that to the state of Pennsylvania which is going to be $1,272. And then we're gonna keep on sliding down that scale. So Wickley three bedroom rental is $1,137. So you know, again, not terrible. We're under the state and the national average there. So the median energy bill in So Wickley is going to be $184.43 a month. Phone bills, just under $200 a month. Gas is about $2.78 a gallon. Again, these are from 2019. I hesitated on even putting them in there. Gas prices fluctuate so often. I'm not even sure where they are nowadays because I have an electric car. 
Food and groceries, I mean, they break it down really good here. A loaf of bread is $3.68. Gallon of milk, $2.14. And these are all vital numbers. I mean, you know, a lot of people put together a hustle budget, but they may just throw some numbers together. If you really, really drill down, you might drill down this far. So I did a loaf of bread, did milk. Let's see what's next. Carton of eggs, all the essentials, $2. Bunch of bananas, $3.71. Now what I mean, when I say a bunch of bananas, I mean, hey, just a bunch of bananas. I mean like a, a bunch of bananas. And of course, so we have all those essential foods, you know, bread, milk, eggs. We've got to have our last essential food, which is a hamburger, of course. And that's $4.68, that cracks me up. So if you break down the cost of doctor's visits, it's about $103.85. Dentist visit, just under $90. Optometrist visit, just under $100. Actually, you could use these numbers to compile a home budget, but if you were a kid in high school and you're looking to figure out which one to do with life, you could look at these numbers and see who has the highest average and go into that field. Rx drugs is about $414. I mean, that blows me away, right? Drugs are more expensive than everything else. And veterinary visit, our poor little pets, only $50. So I always like to do a bonus. I mean, we cover the costs of living, but let's also talk about a couple things that affect the cost of living, and that's job growth. Recent job growth is not very good. Uh, it's 0.30%. There's not much employment in Soikley. Most people live in Soikley and go to work elsewhere. So I don't expect jobs to be very high in Soikley ever. And so the United States is 1.6% in growth. So grossly under the United States on growth. And again, I already explained why. So income per capita in Sewickley is just under $28,000 compared to the United States, which is just a little bit over $31,000. Household income, Sewickley, uh, just under $60,000. In the United States, just under $58,000. Unemployment rate in Sewickley is 4.6%. Now this is an interesting number. Let's compare that to the national average of 3.7%. Kind of ironic that the unemployment rate is higher in a luxury area. I, I can only imagine that it might be, maybe there's large families or just families in general and the kids live there and go to college and somehow don't have employment. Or maybe it's because the people who live in Swickley are snotty and their kids are of their own age and live at home and don't contribute an in income and are unemployed according to the survey. I don't know. I'm not saying that's a fact, I have no clue. Just throwing that out there. So future job growth across the United States is predicted to be 33.51% and so Wickley is 23.26%. So let's talk about population. The population of Sewickley is 5,858 people. Now we're going to compare this to New York, New York, which is 8,560,072 people. <laughs> now with COVID, I'm thinking that number is shrinking 300,000 people per week per month. Now let's compare that to the United States. It's just over 320 million people. Median income in, in Sewickley, I told you, is just under 60,000. Uh, New York, New York is just under 53,000, which is really on par with the United States, which is also just, uh, it's about $53,482, I believe. Median age of Sewickleyites is 43.3 years old. New York, New York is 35.7, and the United States, 37.5 years old. Pretty interesting. So we already talked about the average home price is around $285,300. Compare that to New York, New York at $680,000. <laughs> the United States is around $231,000. So the average commute time for Sewickleyites, just under 27. New York, New York, 41, the United States just under 27. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the cost of living in Swickley. Pretty interesting to compare that to New York, New York. So if, you're, if you like these videos, if you're digging it, you're getting it, hit the subscribe button. I may have mentioned that before, you may want to hit that bell and get all notifications. All right, see you in the next video.